If you're currently using a foot ascender like this one to ascend up the rope, particularly if you're climbing SRT, then you're probably going to be, want to be looking for another ascender. My option would be a knee ascender, in particular this one, which is the Haas Velox. So in this video, I'm just going to quickly go over this and what it does. So this is a Haas Velox, yeah, it comes with a CT ascender attached, it's all one system. It comes with a loop on the bottom to connect to your boots. Uh, if you've not got a connection on your boots, they'd also do a, a version with a loop in, or you can connect this straight to a foot loop. The ascender will connect to your rope around where your knee is, and then this bungee section here at the top can connect to your harness or your chest harness or anything like that to help it ascend up the rope. They are pretty pricey now, this one's around £200 in the UK. Uh, it's a really good system, really compact as you can see, it's, uh, that's literally it, that's, that's all of it. Um, that can obviously clip on there and it, it, it'll go really easy on your harness. And uh, like I said, compact and can easily be stored out the way. Uh, it doesn't come supplied with a carabiner, so you have to get uh, an attachment carabiner there for it. This is a, like a stiff kind of tether. Um, inside this section here there's a, a bungee, with, which is connected to this clip here. Um, and obviously in the middle you've got your, your chest ascender which is, uh, will be located near your knee. And this is the CT Ascender. I've been using the CT Ascender on, on my foot for, for, well, since forever. It's the only one I've ever used and it was just, it, it's been perfect. So I know how, how good these are. Um, they lock out like that um, when you want them open and then to, to close them, you literally just do that and they, they don't pop out. You don't need to put any carabiners or anything in there to keep that locked in. A device can be used with anything up to around 13 mil rope, uh, 11 mil works fantastic, all up to 13. I've not tried anything in between, but I'm sure it'll work pretty well and anything smaller than that as well. It looks really well built, all the, the stitching uh, around everything and uh, the stitching around, around the bottom of the clip and even the, the actual, you know, they could have just put a normal carabiner on here, but you've got a, a re really easy one-handed action there that you can open it with and it's, it's just all really well built. This near sender's obviously designed to be used with a foot ascender as well, primarily for SRT, um, but it will work on double rope, you can use both. I've been using this now for probably 12 months and it's in really good nick. I mean, I very rarely use it to be honest. I, I, if I'm ascending, unless it's a, a, a large ascent, like after dinner or you get a good throw first time, uh, then I'll, I'll use the foot ascender and, and the knee ascender. But as a rule, I tend to just use the foot ascender to be honest. But if you if you are good with a throw bag and you get into the top of the trees and you you are constantly going up and down for whatever reason, um, it's a fantastic bit of kit. So as you can see, I've just got a system set up here, an SRT line. I'm just going to connect me chicane to it. To set the set the ascender up, this is going to go on my left leg. On my right leg, I've just got the, uh, the foot ascender. There's a couple of ways you can. You can do it, you'll find the best way for yourself to load it all on and get going. I tend to find if I put this on first and then then put my foot ascender on, some people do it the other way around or whichever. Yeah, I'm gonna use these two attachment points here for my neck tether. Uh, you can use obviously a chest tether as well, but um, that's all you need really just to, to keep it going up. So once you've got your weight in your system, take the slack out. You can then kind of sit into it. It's got a small accessory carabiner here. And you wanna clip this to your foot. I've got the um, Arbitec KOs, so they have the loop already in. Um, you can just attach it to your laces if you want. I have tried that and it works all right, but you probably snap them, so I wouldn't recommend it. Then, like I said, it, it stays open. You can connect, push it in and then connect it like that. Now this set part here, depending on how much kind of force you want it to pull up, you can either connect it to your lower D's somewhere, somewhere on your harness or maybe a your actual um, climbing device there. I tend to just put it on there and it's it, it's usually enough, but if you want more, you can um, just attach it maybe higher up onto your bridge or something. I put my uh, chest tether, neck tether, should I say. So once that's on, that's when I tend to put my foot sender on. And from there you can start frog walking up. Once you've uh, got to where you want to go to, you just take it all off in the reverse order really. Um, I tend to find the foot sender comes off easier. 
you take a bit of weight out of the ascender, you can just unclip it really easy like that. Uh, unclip it off your boots, clip it off there, wrap it around, store it away. Jobs are good. I'd like to thank Carl Billington for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it. It's been a great piece of kit. I really enjoyed using it. I'll put all the links in the description where you can obviously purchase one yourself. If you want to see more product review videos and other tree work videos, have a click up here somewhere on the screen. There'll be a link there which will take you to the whole playlist and all the stuff on the channel.